Hi everybody, welcome to my channel Nicastra Studio Art. Today we will draw a lighthouse. I'll be demonstrating some of the tools Procreate has to offer. I hope this video helps with tips and tricks for you to start with Procreate. I will make a design from start to finish and hopefully educate. Let's start with a new canvas. We are going to create a new canvas costume. The dimensions we made are 2500 pixels and 2500 pixels, DPI 300, and we have a lot of layers. That's more than enough. This is a sufficient quality if you are going to print the image. And we will create. We start with a white canvas. What do we do? Let's go to layer and go to background color. You can change the color of the canvas. I chose dark blue. This will be the base color of the canvas. Now we will select the brush. Let's go to the calligraphy section and select the monolin brush. I will choose white color. Now we make a circle. Don't be afraid of imperfect circles. Tap with two fingers. It will make a perfect circle. Now we click the cursor icon. Select uniform. We can adjust the image to the center by shifting the image. After we create the shape, we gonna fill the layer and fill the shape. Just drag the color. It's simple. Now we go back to the layer and create a new layer. Choose a different color for the shape. Now we will make stones for the foundation of the lighthouse. Create some rocky terrain which the lighthouse is planted. We start draw from the right and then we going to link up to the first point we started with. Drag color and fill the layer. Now we want to clip this new layer to the circle underneath. We go to the layer, select layer 2, select clipping mask. So this will create a cropped image inside the circle layer. We dragged up blue. Nicely. Now fills in and blends into the outer circle. The next tool we're going to use is the drawing guide. So we go to setting. And we go to canvas then turn on the drawing guide. And then we're going to edit drawing guide. The drawing guide give you some help. There is grid, isometric, perspective and symmetry. And we're going to use symmetry. and we click done. And now we have a symmetrous line. And now I am going to tab layers, create a new layer, and we tap, select drawing assist. Drawing assist is only applied on this layer. Now we can try drawing lines. Tap with two fingers to undo and tap with three fingers to redo. Now I am going to use a monolin brush and start drawing the lighthouse. Drag color into the space. Now we're going into layer, and we're going to push this layer behind the rocky terrain layer. Then drag dark blue. Now fills in and blends into the rocket. Now draw the top of the lighthouse along with the spotlights.
Now, we will draw the night sky. Create a new layer. We are going to the color palette. Select the color. Then we will select the brush. Choose airbrushing. Use a soft brush. We use large brush. Then draw a background for the basic color of the sky. Choose another color to highlight. I will choose pink color. Now, we will make stars in the night sky. Create a new layer. I will choose white color. We will use a monolin brush. What we will do now is tap on the screen. Make stars randomly. When it's finished, we tap layer 5 as the star background. Tap on N and make the opacity lower. Then create a new layer. To make the stars brighter, tap randomly. Now, we're going to make the moon. Create a new layer. I'm going to use the monolin brush again. Let's create a perfect circle. Color it white, then drag the moon to the top, clipping the background base circle. Now, we will make the moon shine. We are going to create a glow with a duplicate of the layer. On the bottom layer, we are going to do an adjustment and select Grush and Blur and select a layer. We can drag from left to right 
from 0% to 100%. We will make about 10%. Now, we will make Lighthouse Light Rays, create a new layer. We make a street line, to make a reflection of the lights. Duplicate the straight line, then flip it, and drag it at the same point. Then we will make the layers into one very easy way with a pinch. As you can see now, the layer become one. Then we link the shape into one. And color drag. Then we duplicate the screen. Then we flip horizontally and drag across in the light box. Then we combine again into one with a pinch. We make the opacity small. Now, we duplicate the layer again. We make the layer to be drawing assist. We still have symmetrical lines. We are going to remove the outside. Select the airbrush brush, use a soft brush. Use a large brush, about 30. Now delete the outside. We are going to do the same on the bottom layer. Now, we create a new layer and use a monolin brush. We'll start with a squiggly line. We're going to link the lines into one. Then we drop the color. And make the opacity low. The next step is to create a new layer. Make the line squiggly position above it. Then change the opacity to low. We will create one more layer on top of it, the same way as before. Final touch for shooting star. Create a new layer. I will use calligraphy and use a brush script. Make a line and we're going to make the tail of the star by deleting some of it. Up eraser, use airbrush, use soft airbrush.
Thank you for following him to draw with me. Hopefully the lesson is useful. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment, so you don't miss the latest video uploads. Please also follow my Instagram. See you in the next video.